Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, someone is murdering breakers at Daytona Beach's spring break events. And I tell you what, the murders are quite shocking. Tonight's movie, Nightmare Beach. Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Yes, yes, just oozing with cuts, guts, and sluts! Ha! Ah, tonight, 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 we are going to <laughs> do a little slasher action. Yes, slasher action. Oh, I do love myself, the so slashers. Anyways, tonight we're going to be doing a movie by Umberto Lenzi that has the word nightmare in it, but it is not the other movie by Umberto Lenzi that has nightmare in it, but perhaps uh, maybe later on. <laughs> A movie that actually has wonderful John Saxon in it, and that I'm sure is not going to be the only time you're going to be hearing that name this year. Anyways, tonight's movie is Nightmare Beach. Nightmare Beach. What is Nightmare Beach about? Well, the famed uh, gang leader of the demons named Diablo is put to death for murder, dying by the electric chair. However, his body is soon later found to have been taken from the grave. This all, of course, happens during spring break here at Daytona Beach. And yes, a whole flock of idiots, I mean, <laughs> young people, have come to uh, enjoy the sun, the, the, the shore, the suds, and, you know, maybe the sex too. But anyways, and so, yes, we have um, two friends coming down to uh, enjoy the festivities, and uh, all the while, someone in a motorcycle outfit is dispatching breakers one by one in the most, I don't know you would say, electrifying ways possible. Could this murderer be Diablo raised from the grave, or is it someone else? Who knows? You'll have to find out by watching. So let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am giving this one a three and a half out of five because even though there are not a lot of kills in this movie, each kill is pretty <laughs> spectacular for the most part. I mean, like some are not as spectacular, but there's a lot of people just bursting into flame because of the uh, the situation going on. And this, yeah, this killer's uh, um, weapon of choice is uh, quite powerful, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, you get some some eye get uh, well, not gouging, but some eye popping <laughs> effects and uh, a, a whole lot of like. Uh, nasty, especially this one where, like, afterwards it's just like gooey, skeletal. Yeah, anyways, uh, three and a half out of five. Shock value is going to be a two out of five, and mostly because uh, the kills are quite shocking. If you haven't gotten the pun yet, you you're not paying attention anyways um actually uh there are a few jump scares in the in this movie and the final reveal of what and who is who's doing this is quite spectacular so yeah i'm giving it a two out of five moving on to plot i am going to give this a three out of five um they definitely do a good job of setting up multiple red herrings and even though the logic at the end makes sense, there is a, a bit of, uh, I don't know, a, a bit of meandering between scenes. Uh, there, you know, you're, you're, you're definitely in spring break and you have to dig, take those spring break, break shots. And I get it. Uh, but uh, some of it just feels like filler. And the pacing of the movie is off because of it. Uh, even though I do enjoy the story, I think, you know, some of the... 
some of the background uh, stories, uh, side stories, uh, especially the one with the 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 girl who's uh, the girl uh, who was a victim of uh, Diablo's uh, mayhem, uh, allegedly, and the whole um, you know striker uh, side plot. I think drags the movie a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it's not super strong, but it's still above average. Three out of five. Moving on to acting, I am also giving this a three out of five. Yes, there's some pretty bad acting in this movie, but John Saxton is always wonderful, no matter what he does. And him playing the uh, somewhat shady police officer Stryker uh, uh, as part of the uh, corrupt trio of government officials trying to make sure that spring break continues to go on, admits this killing spree uh, that they're trying desperately to cover up. Uh, it almost kind of reminds you of another movie about summertime fun at a beach, like Jaws. <laughs> Except uh, this guy's a land shark and uh, he's not uh, chewing on people. So anyways, uh, acting three out of five. Moving on to nudity and you would think a spring break movie full of buxom babes in bikinis would just be absolutely filled with breasts and you would be right but they're all covered <laughs> no, no like they're 99 percent covered anyways yeah it's gonna be a one out of five uh like there is a striptease uh not a striptease of course, like a wet t-shirt contest and it is probably the most abbreviated less wild wet t-shirt contest I've seen in movie history uh, where literally flashes, flashes, like just brief, brief flashes, uh, nothing that seems to linger on screen, uh, definitely, I think, a missed and wasted opportunity uh, to be a little bit more uh, sexy. But anyways, also uh, for you ladies, there is a guy kind of mooning people uh, during a belly flop competition. Once again, just like, sure, you're reiterating that it's spring break, but like, we already know it's spring break. We don't need these little, like, these these little I don't know I want to call it like uh, little side events to just reinforce that hey remember we're at spring break right now right uh huh anyways so one out of five very disappointing very disappointing moving on to enjoyment factor I am gonna give this a rather strong three and a half out of five even though I would like it to be a little bit sexier it's definitely a fun movie. Is just to watch the spectacular kills, and uh, that's honestly that's like the the the, the thing for it is like these kills are are wonderfully spectacular. Sure, like the effects aren't the best, and you can kind of tell that you know dummies are used, but you you know you gotta you gotta let go and use your imagination and be in the moment and just imagine how shockingly gnarly these deaths are are being and like how horrible it must be to be killed in in such a fashion so uh and also it's just it's a fun 80s feeling movie with like the 80s uh rock and soundtrack and yes you know you do get an eyeful of the beach bevies but uh yeah so three and a half out of five definitely uh definitely a fun fun movie uh moving on to my overall impression and I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I think for um, for what it is, I think the kills are unique enough to have it stand uh, apart from other movies uh, of the same, uh, the same genre. And I, I think that it is definitely well put together. Yes, it has problems um, with the, the momentum of the story. Uh, it is uneven. There are are issues with what seems to be filler but i think that there is also layers of, uh in this movie uh the the doctor who's part of the the tr corrupt trio uh definitely adds uh some more flavor to to the movie and also uh adds um some actual uh i mean no, realism <laughs> some sanity uh then of course you know you've got the the guy who plays the priest or the reverend, or whatever you want to call him, uh, he does an interesting job, and 
he kind of plays the, uh, I don't know what to say, like the priest is the one that plays the devil's advocate, but he's the, he's, he's the guy who is like saying like, you know, perhaps like all of this uh, craziness shouldn't be happening. And anyways, um, you know, I, I enjoy his role in this movie also, especially toward the end. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, very solid movie. I would suggest it for anyone who loves fun slasher films. Three out of five overall impression. And that averages out to a very respectable 2.75 out of five. Yes, yes, I know. It could have been uh, a bit more uh, voluptuous <laughs> in certain aspects. But still, great movie, a great time had by all, especially me. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, let me... so. There you have it. Nightmare Beach. My goodness. Uh, rough start here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? What other beach slasher spring break movies do you like? I mean, no one's watching this at this point, so no one's going to say anything. So, dang it. I, I need those... I need those suggestions. I know a Google search can happen, but whatever. This is better at getting from other people. Anyway, so, anyways, thank you again for watching another episode of The 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And remember, everyone in internet land, to stay scary. And also, 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 don't take rides from strangers. Just don't. Just, the hitchhiking is a dangerous thing, and you don't know whether or not you're going to be part of uh, a murder cycle, murder cycle, murder cyclists, uh, uh, you know, uh, venge, vengeance tour. I don't know, like the best way to call it. Uh, you're just going to end up getting murked. I mean, that's, that's what happens, especially in movies. You you hitchhike, bad things happen. You know, especially when it's a guy in this really elaborate motorcycle and you can't see his face and he's wearing all, like, leather and gloves and stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's the middle of the night. It's it's just bad news. It's bad news! You're just going to get shocked by what you end up with. Shocked. <laughs>